It all started here in Samoa, an island nation in the South Pacific, when more than 80 children were adopted by American parents through the adoption agency Focus on Children. What were you told about this little girl's background? That her parents could not put food on the table to feed her, and they wanted her to be able to have a meal and, and be able to have a better life. Was she technically an orphan? That's what we were told. The cost seemed reasonable, about $13,000. So Mike and Carrie Nyberg agreed to adopt the three-year-old little girl, who they named Aaliyah. They were told she had been living in FOC's orphanage for months. It wasn't until they brought her home to Utah Aaliyah. and she began to settle in and learn English Say hi, Daddy. Hi, Daddy. that they began to suspect something was wrong with her adoption. She started talking about how she would sleep on the floor and she started naming her parents and her siblings. She's hurting and she's missing her family. The Nybergs decided to find out what the intentions of her birth parents really were. We wanted to find out the truth. But the truth would have heart-wrenching consequences, and not just for the Nybergs, but for dozens of American families. Initially, there was a lot of shock. They were afraid that their family was going to fall apart. <laughs> Look what I did. Where I 57 American families, like the Minzlers in Texas, and Patty Sawyer in Wisconsin discovered that their adoptions may be fraudulent. I can do 10 cartwheels. While they believe they had adopted orphans, the Samoan families, all poor and uneducated, believe they had signed their children up for a foster program and that their children would be coming home at age 18. I was lied to. It's all a lie. Lies. Focus on children lied to us and the Samoan parents. Now, the question on every parent's mind was, will I have to give up my child? Regardless of what happened and regardless of what Focus did, we made a vow to her to be her parents for life. We are her parents and nothing is going to change that. Much to the dismay of many of the parents, the owners of the, and the five employees of Focus on Children managed to plead down over 100 felony charges to just a handful of misdemeanors. But perhaps even more troubling, the criminal case never addressed the legality of the adoptions. We talked to three American families in Saturday night's 48 Hours about what that means for them. Katie? All right, Maureen, such is that story. Thanks very much. And as Maureen said, the story continues on 48 Hours tomorrow night at 10, 9 central, right here on CBS.